For anyone that runs a blog, we all know how challenging it can be at times to continue to write content. That's why you want to consider setting up a multi-author blog. This is a blog where you have different roles and responsibilities and you can assign these to people. So for example, if you have a team, you can assign every team member a role and responsibility to help contribute content. So step one is we're going to show you how to add a user. Within WordPress, you want to log into your administration panel and go to the left hand side and click on users. Here we're going to bring up a list of our existing users. To add a new user, simply click the add new user button. One key thing to remember as you add new users is to put in a username, their first name, and their last name. This is important because the author of that blog post can have their name show up underneath their content. This is great for if you want to increase your readership. For example, someone may want to gravitate towards a certain user's content as opposed to another user's content. This way, they can easily identify who that person is. After you've entered your password along with your email address, you want to be sure to select which role you want that user to have. So why would I want to determine what level of access a user had on my WordPress blog? Well, if you're setting up a team of people to blog for you, you want to make sure that you have the right level set up. A great place to start with building your team is to set up an editor. This is someone who can approve content. They can also write content. Next, you want to also consider setting up contributors. Contributors are people that can write content for you, but they don't have editor level access, meaning they can read all of the posts and make edits to them and approve them. So why is a team important? Without a team in place, this basically means you're going to spend all of your time not only writing and approving blog posts, but you'll also be managing your blog as well. This can take you away from achieving your long-term goals, such as building out an aspect of your business or networking with other people. While you're building your team, I want you to do one last thing, and that's I want you to have fun. Blogging is supposed to be an outlet, a creative outlet, to share your passion with other people. You know, as you're writing and as you're out there connecting and networking with other people that are passionate about the same topic, consider asking them to be a contributor to your blog. This way, you're not only writing more content, but you're also working together. As always, if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to connect with me. Thanks a lot for watching.